All right, hello again, everybody. We are back. It's your friend Will. This is the Memory Lapse, and we are taking Andrew Jessup's Drake's deck. Andrew Jessup's Drake's deck. Say that five times fast. Into competitive constructed. This is a no arc light phoenix version uh, that he used in part to win the SCG Invitational over the weekend. Looking forward to seeing those vods go up so I can check out some of the play. But in the meantime, we are playing it. Feels really robust, really resilient. And here we go. I want to remind everybody that on Thursday, we'll be streaming, most likely starting at 10 or 10.30 Eastern Time. So if you can find time to join, that would be awesome. Here, depending on what our opponent does, we'll decide whether or not we're going to opt. Yeah, I guess we will opt. We'll keep this one. Nice. That should be pretty good in this matchup in a couple turns. I think we're content to get in for one here and just play our other Drake. Keep drawing. If we can find a dive down or anything like that, it's going to be valuable. And we have removal here that's going to increase the power of our creatures and clear the way. <clears throat> Looks like they're stalling out. They're opting main phase. Oh. All right, if they're going to double shock here, it sucks to lose a Drake, but we drew a card off that. Oh, I didn't realize that they had put some arc like things into the graveyard. Okay. Well, that gives us a target for a lava coil here. Oh, do they have dive down in Arc Light Phoenix? No. Okay. So we'll hold back to block for now. Yeah, no, we don't have to. We have shock. Yeah, we're gonna save the shock though. Play this in combat so they can't bring the Phoenix back next turn. I think we're just kind of hoping that we're going to flip a search, get into Mizzet going, and use that to dominate the board. This is fine. <clears throat> this is fine meme. All right, we're kind of hoping to see a spell on top that we can put into the graveyard here. Um, <clears throat> all right, we'll take this though. So I think what I'm gonna do, a little unconventional, is shock the face. I want to save this lava coil for the Phoenix. Bolt the Drake. Get in for five. <clears throat> and if they bring the, Phoenix, the Phoenix back next turn, we have coil for it. We have coil plus we can beacon bolt with whatever we draw. We're going to be flipping search next turn. Oh, yeah, almost, almost guaranteed flip search next turn. 
So if their play here is Electromancer into three spells to bring back Phoenix, we'll be pretty okay as long as their three spells don't include. Eh, this is okay. I guess in this case, we're keeping the Drake. Well, they're gonna do quite a bit of drawing here, it looks like. But still just the one arc light. Hmm. Do this here, it actually protects it against both halves. Unless they have double shock. All right, well, with this um, dive down, or sorry, this turn we technically threaten lethal if we can chain together some spells. Nisconta should be able to help us do that. Can't think of anything that they'd have for this that's gonna interact with the Drake. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. So this looks for like a lava coil. Opt is good. All right, so I think we just pass here. It seems unlikely they're gonna bring back more arc lights next turn. We have beacon bolt lava coil. So we should be able to clear the way in the air and in the process grow this to 10. Although if we have to do the beacon bolt, we may not grow it to 10. But likely their turn is going to be draw, attempt to beacon bolt our drake, we grow it and then end. I think the only way we lose is by attacking. Or I think I should say that there's a big risk to us attacking, which is that they jump block and then somehow find a way to put together 11 damage on their turn. Yep. I'd much rather induce them into taking this route. Again, we know their list with one card. We, we more or less know what they're on, so with one card they don't really have a lot that they can do with instant speed. All right, opt first, just in case we can find something like backup. All right, <clears throat> we got nothing. Let's go for the lava coil on the wind. We got him. Hmm. So how do we think to sideboard in this matchup? Spell Pierce actually seems fine early on. I can see an argument for bringing Beacon Bolt and Niv it. Maybe Spell Pierce is on the weak side. <clears throat> Though it's a nice early game to disrupt their draw. I mean, Shock is okay, only okay again. Let's take out two Shocks. 
I think Shock is only okay against them. They are on the Goblin version, but... Try it like that. And we'll see what they play, and then we can decide next game if we lose, if we're going to bring in the Disdainful Stroke or anything else. I think we have to mulligan this. Doesn't do anything, we're missing a color. This is much better. I'm not even opposed to keeping the land on the top here. So I do think hitting these early land drops is gonna be important. And I really like Search. Search feels super good in this deck so far. All right, no goblin is good. <clears throat> so we have to quietly just make our search for Skanta here. All right, Enigma Drake. We're going to want both halves of that, I think, over the course of the game. Oh, we saw no phoenixes. So let's take this out while we have the chance. We can use Spell Pierce in their turn to disrupt some of their draw, maybe. <clears throat> All right, so let's say we're going to be opting. Okay, Drake of our own is good. We want this land. So here we get to Discovery and do Beacon Bolt number one. I guess we want a backup Drake here. Just grind through their Drakes. Even get in a hit. Because if they, they can hit us back, but we're winning the race at this point. So it seems that they're on no dive downs. It advantages us a lot, I think. Also hitting here is good because we don't have a way to protect this, and if they have like a lava coil or something, at least we've gotten our five damage in. Oh, they don't even attack. That's sick. I guess we're just gonna kill another discard a spell pierce. If they have a way to protect it. Oh, hey. We get them back. They did have a dive down. So they could block and shock. 
that would be kind of like an okay line by them, but then we're just dropping another Drake on them. And we have an active of Escanta now, so we can churn through our deck for removal, clear the way. All right, there's a Phoenix. A Phoenix makes a second blocker for them. Um, looks like they're not going to get there. I don't, they need to have like a opt or a shock. Nope, looks like they're not going to get there. So we have the top of our deck plus an Escanta. Activation. Do just want a second dive down. Probably. Use this first dive down just to pump the toughness. They have shock here, it's a little bit awkward. But I think if they had shock, they would have used it to bring back their Arc Light Phoenix last turn. So we played the one they know about. This one is disguised. So we can catch the second half of Beacon Bolt <clears throat> with it or a Lava Coil. Uh, and considering that they didn't bring back the Phoenix last turn, I think it's even more unlikely that they're going to be able to bring it back this turn. Hmm. Okay. I think we just force them to jump here. Give them no cards. Ugh. <clears throat> Alright, well now we have to do this. Oh, I could have gone to the face there, but... This is probably... Nah, I missed two damage there. All right, that's bad. That's really bad. We need a miss of our own very soon. But when we find it, we have dive down to protect. We have one on the bottom. We actually have a lot of creatures on the bottom. <clears throat> Second to miss it. Ooh. All right, well, I think we had the advantage here, and then they found their new visits and we didn't. So we have not been able to press our advantage sufficiently. All right, so it goes to show that, yeah, bringing in the third one was right. Not finding it was wrong. Can we just double Lava Coil here? We can't even. We just lose this turn, right? Yeah, they're just gonna bring back Phoenixes. The Phoenixes alone are six damage, plus the five, plus all the triggers, so. Hmm. Well, the way that played out makes me think we want Rowl. That's another piece of removal that we can search for. And answers niv it really cleanly. All right, we'll be on the play here, so hopefully we can be the ones who get first niv visit down.
All right, protection plus some smoothing. Go find some more blue sources, please. Interesting that they have lightning strike. Chart again. A little worried that I'm discarding too many lands here. But we still have opt, we have crackling drake next turn. We know that Lava Coil is very good in this matchup. And we know that Dive Down could be the difference between winning and losing in, in a single turn. Looks like they are digging. No, they're not digging the land. All right, let's do an end of turn opt here. Hmm. Very tempting. Yeah, tempting enough. Since we're gonna flip this potentially next turn. No, two turns from now. We forego the Drake, but we, this means we just get to play Drake plus dive down the following turn. Or if they play Drake of their own, we just get to Lava Coil it for free. Just keep powering up this Rao as the answer to a Niv Mizzet if they bring one down turn six. If we flip search and draw land, we have Niv Mizzet plus dive down potentially next turn. We also have four, four spells in the yard. We can just play Rao. And kill this Drake. And I draw land. I think I'm going to go with Nimiz plus Dive down. With them on four land, yeah. <clears throat> Let's just think about this. So the, if we put two damage on it, it has three left. So they're telling us that they have lightning strike, but they can't have two lightning strikes. Or they're telling us they have lava coil. Might just scoop right here. 
Because there's nothing that they can have for one that's going to help them. <clears throat> Finish off this Nim Mizzet. And they've just given us two cards for nothing. Well, I guess they do get to drip attack for seven. This spell pierce pretty much locks it up. Because now if they go for dive down. Just get them. They need to dive down in response to the Rao. I actually guess at this point it doesn't even matter. Because we have the spell pierce in hand. Got him. So I think we were going to hold the spell pierce there instead of playing the discovery, just in case they try to string together two pieces of removal again. But at that point, even if they answered the the visit, we were so far ahead on cards that we were just going to like drop all our drakes on the board. So pretty good. That was a really good match. Um, I think our deck felt advantaged in the matchup for sure. We're more equipped to get a, a turn like a, a nimbus down to protect it. Ascanta was awesome. Uh, just the fact that it flips and creates that land drop that turn and you flip it so quickly actually really mattered in the almost every game, pretty much. And I think if we had gotten a little bit luckier game two, we would have probably just swept them 2 well. So yeah, awesome match. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment, drop a like on the video, and uh, don't forget that we'll be streaming on Thursday. I'm putting the, the info below as well so hope to see some of you then and uh until next time we yeah we'll be back with the next round so stay tuned